Welcome back. We are here on E2 looking at the uh, indices, and this is going to be my daily loop forecast for Thursday, February 25th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and as you can see, we have rallied quite a bit today. We found support here at the 50-moving average yesterday, and today we continue this rally. 4,000 will most likely be our target, and um, after that, we may rally significantly upside or we break down back towards the 50 moving average. But 4,000 is basically the target here. So we are trading above the 20 exponential, and this is a very a bullish shine for the SP 500. You can also look at the technical indicators, all of them are point, pointing to higher levels. Both the RSI, the CCI, Sarcastic is crossing the signal line here, and the MACD is, well, it's very flat at this point. But given that these indicators here are turning around, it is very likely that we'll continue up towards the 4,000 uh, 4, uh, level. Uh, break down from here, the 20 exponential will offer resistant support, and the, 20, uh, the 50 moving average will also offer support at 3,000. 811 at this stage so let's look at the dow jones so same thing here we have rallied to almost 32,000. um yes we are we are probably going to run into quite a lot of resistance here but a break above 32,000 uh, that opens the door to 32,500 and then 33,000. Uh, breakdown uh, pullbacks from here towards the 20 exponential they are basically going to be a, there's going to be a lot of support at the 20 exponential as you can see here every time we pull back to the 20 it offered a massive support and if that were to break we have the 50 underneath here at 30 uh, 30,862 and that will e offer even more support so we are still in this uptrend and uh, yes it is looking very nice for the Dow Jones. Technical indicators are all very bullish at this stage, but but we could see resistance there. We could see a pullback and then break through the 32,000 and then head to 32,500. So let's look at the Nasdaq. Yes, so as you can see, we did uh, fall quite nast. Uh, quite far the last if you uh, in the last week so um, it was basically six consecutive days where we fell and found support at 12,740 uh, 48 so main reason why we found support there is because if you look at that Fibonacci retracement so it, we landed exactly at the first Fibonacci retracement here or at the uh, 38.2 Fibonacci retracement and uh, we bounced from there. We also have a trend line here, which we also uh, bounced from. At this point, we're trading above the 50 moving average and underneath the 20 exponential moving average. And uh, the question is whether or not we manage to break above the 20. So we could also stay here for a while, stabilize and then continue towards 14,000. Um, we can also look at a Fibonacci retracement for this and see that we will run into, sorry, that's not what I was supposed to do. Here, we will run into uh, resistant here at the 50, and that's around the 13,335, and then here at the, at the, um, at uh, 20 exponential at 13,464. That's also going to be a significant, uh, significant resistant. If we manage to break above these prior, these uh, resistant levels here, then we're heading towards the all time highs here at 13,000, give or take 870, and probably also beyond that. In the long run, we're most likely going towards 15,000. However, if we turn around here and take out these previous uh, previous lows, that could open the door to, for example, the 50 Fibonacci retracement. So if you look at this again, 
that could mean that we'll drop towards the 12,402 level and the 12,558 level. And most likely, if we drop all the way down to this level, we'll also test the 200 moving average before going higher. I It doesn't seem like that is going to be the case. It looks like we found there was a lot of buying occurring in this area here. And uh, if that is the case, we'll most likely see something similar to this, where we'll basically take off. So tomorrow's session will most likely give a, a clear signal where this market is going. If we just uh, break through the 20 exponential, uh, then we could see something similar to this, where we are heading towards um, the 14,000 price level or 14,000 level. So let's look at the, the DAX. So very similar here. We found um, we found uh, resistant uh, support yesterday at uh, fourteen thousand six hundred and sixty three. We're trading above the twenty exponential moving average. So this is a very uh, bullish shine for the DAX. And at this point, technical indicators are all turning around. So it is uh, it is very likely that we're going to fourteen thousand two hundred, which is a, a previous size, and head towards fourteen thousand five hundred in the long run. So the 20 and the 50 have acted as a major um, support until further. And as long as that is the case, this will just continue slowly going up towards all the way to probably 15,000. So let's look at the UK 100. And also here we had a very big rally today and we are trading at 6,665. Technical indicators, they are turning around. They are all turning bullish. So we're most likely going to head back towards these, uh, these highs here at 6,789 and then probably towards uh, 6,916. So we are quite far away from the uh, previous, uh, the old time highs, which is all up here almost at 8,000. 8, so this has a long way to go in order to recover from this massive fall uh, from the uh, from last year's coronavirus. So most of the U.S. indices have recovered, uh, but um, but um, the British indice has not uh, recovered yet. But it has also had Brexit and um, and the coronavirus to to um, to um, to handle, and it will probably take longer in, in order for this to to um, go back to its previous highs. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.